Uh, Kelly, well, where does the improvement have to come from in order for you guys to pick up a win? It's a full team effort. That's all it is. Um, just pushing each other, just playing 100%. That's all it is, I think. It's, it's hockey. It's not that complicated. What was the message after the first period from uh, the coaching staff? It wasn't good enough. And we all know it, too. I think our leaders have to step up, um, show the way, um, play harder, because then if those leaders are not playing hard, it's most likely not nobody's playing hard. So um, we all got to be better. Do you feel that that contributes more to the, the timing that seemed to be missing uh, here in this game on some of the passes, or, or was it the time off that contributed? I don't think the time off is a good ex excuse. We got our rest. Uh, we got three practices in. Um, I think we just need to be a lot sharper. I, you can make all the excuses you want, but that's not going to help. Um, <laughs> it's simple. You just got to play better, focus, and execute. Just two more. Next one goes to Justin Levine. Go ahead, Justin. Hey, Kelly. Thanks for doing this, and welcome back to uh, Marley's Hockey. Can you talk about what that um, three-week or two and a half, three week period was like with the downtime due to COVID and just, you know, for you, what it's been like to get back on the ice and, you know, finding your footing again? Yeah, the two weeks in quarantine is obviously not easy, especially uh, staying at home. You're not able to go outside. You don't, you don't have all the uh, gym equipment. You don't, you can't access the ice. It's obviously not easy. Um, but like we're pro athletes, athletes, we got to take care of our bodies and, and be in good shape and and we know how to skate and play hockey like it, it, it shouldn't be an ex excuse like other teams have done it in the nhl and they've come back and they've had good, good results um and what was the other part of the question just you know finding your footing and you know i guess how you feel um in terms of the last couple of days both practices and games it was it a big transition for you i don't know if you were one of those infected and you know again that's not uh, for me to probably and ask you, but you know, has has it been a decent adjustment to getting back to action? Yeah, I think I think those three practices helped helped uh, helped us a lot. Um, and I think yesterday we were hopping and popping a little more. Um, and today, like personally too, I didn't feel that bad either. Um, it's just pretty normal, like how I feel in back to backs. Um, and and I think I don't know if the, the energy wasn't there for everybody. Like it wasn't. My my part too. I could have been a lot better, but I I think you know it's it's just I look at that game and I just know it's not good enough, and we all know that too. And and we got to demand so much more from ourselves. Thank you. Last, last one goes to Nick Garden. Go ahead, Nick. Hey Kelly, uh, I know you talked a little bit with Todd just now about the execution, and what do you think have been some of the issues with the power play this season? Sometimes when we when we are good at it, we everybody's doing their own part. We're playing with speed. We have our timing is right. We don't try to stick handle too much. Um, and then vice versa, like when we're coming slow and we're we're not making the passes and not battling, that's when it's not going to work out. It, it starts from the little things, face off, get the puck back, go to the net. It's it's like I said too. It's it's power play and we've done it. It's been good and then it's been bad, but obviously today wasn't at the level it should be.